An open letter to my dearest Juliet. Fate had awarded us a special privilege few others have shared, let alone witnessed. It is that strong gale force of closeness swept into being by a wonderful combination of passion, commitment, and happenstance whose best moments are ones of peaceful knowing, right sure belief, and a kindred thirst for more. Yes, more. And while I cannot even so much as entertain the thought of ever truly documenting the feeling or packaging it in its proper or precious form, I know its real beauty and uniqueness is its inherent ability to remain shapeless and untouchable. Yet as a participant, and I thank God every day for nominating me, I am heartfelt sure of its existence and can only pray its reason for being will forever be understood and appreciated by its two lone partners. I will make a pact with your soul. So long as you reach out for me in timeless want, I pledge to carry our torch in equal shares of intensity and to always know the terms we and us are in reality gloriously one. For us to go to Italy and to penetrate into Italy is like a most fascinating act of self-discovery. Back, back down the old ways of time, strange and wonderful chords awaken us and vibrate again after many hundreds of years of complete forgetfulness. D. H. Lawrence Let me not to the marriage of true minds admit impediments. Love is not love which alters when it alteration finds or bends with remover to remove. Oh no. It is an ever fixed mark that looks on tempest and is never shaken. It is the star to ever wandering bark whose worth's unknown, although its height be taken. Love is not time's fool through rosy lips and cheeks within his bending sickles compass comes. Love alters not with its brief hours and weeks, but bears it out even to the edge of doom. If this be air and upon me proved, I never writ, no no man ever loved. Shakespeare It is the city of mirrors, the city of mirages, at once solid and liquid, at once air and stone. Erica Jong. You may have the universe if I may have Italy. Giuseppe Verde. Designs by Michelangelo. Mark Twain. September twenty fourth. When I find your eyes reaching for mine, I can't help but to allow my heart to race with yours. And when the thundering beat of both comes to a startling stop, I know your lips aren't far behind. If Florence, in all its beauty, was a woman, I would rename her you, for I have held her close and I have loved her from afar. <laughs> 